my 31 female husband, 32 male, has been destroying my house plants with bleach. Like on purpose? I have many, many house plants and even some that were quite expensive and were gifts from my sister. Within the last six months, at least a third of my plants have died. I've had house plants my whole life due to my late mother's own love of house plants, and I know a lot about plants. The death of the plants didn't seem related to the lack of light or inconsistent watering or lack of nutrients or even root rot. They just died very suddenly. I tried to not let it upset me too much because plants die, and it was not any of the expensive ones until now. My sister gave me a five-leaf Monstera Albo rooted plant for my birthday two months ago. It was beautiful. This morning, I was crying pretty hard about it as I unpotted it and took a look at the roots, and I was looking hard at this plant and roots to see if its death was pest-related, and that's when I noticed a smell. I sniffed my potting mix, and I smelled bleach. The only other adult person in my home with unlimited and unobserved access to my plants is my husband. Why would you bleach plants, man? I don't understand. I wasn't able to talk to him for several hours, but when I could speak to him, I very calmly but very directly asked if he had done something to my plants. He denied it at first. I said I smelled bleach in the potting mix of the albo my sister had gotten me and that the only person that could have put it there was him and he caved. He said he was putting small amounts of bleach into the fertilizer water jugs I prepare. I started crying. I asked him, why, why would you do this? You know, I love these plants. Why would you destroy them? He didn't really answer, nor did he really apologize. You think he's jealous? You think he's jealous of how much attention she gives the plants? The trust I had in him is absolutely gone. I think maybe counseling can help us, but he is the one that did this. But I'm the one that would have to set up the counseling. The angry part of me just wants to be done with the relationship. I know that might seem overboard as we are married and share a child, but I feel that now I'm not safe around my husband. Edit. I thank everyone for giving advice. The town home we live in is mine and my sister's our inheritance from my mother. My husband has an office slash den slash gaming room that is personal space and there are no plants there. There are also no plants in the kitchen. I'm not a plant hoarder like He has a room for himself. I also have a sunroom, and that is where the concentration of plants live. He has no reason to go in there. It's not access to our backyard or anything. I saw some people saying maybe he's sick of bugs, but I do not have a fungus gnat problem. I did see one person ask why I did not smell the bleach when I was watering, and I can only say my nose wasn't all up in there, maybe. I can also usually smell a natural systemic in my fertilizer water called SNS 209 that smells heavily of rosemary, but I ran out last month and haven't replaced it yet. After our combo yesterday, I needed space. I spent the night in my daughter's room on a trundle bed. I'm going to text my husband today. He usually communicates easier and open ups, opens up more via text rather than face to face. I'm going to ask for a reason and I'll see what he says. There's a couple more edits here, or at least one more edit here. Bolt, Lilith, you had a boyfriend who was jealous of the fish in your aquarium? What? Edit two. Sorry, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to update on a separate post? Question mark. Who put a question mark on the teleprompter? My husband won't be welcome in my home anymore, and I need to find a lawyer ASAP on Monday. I did text him, and he admitted again to putting bleach in my fertilizer water. He says it wasn't every jug I made, so that explains why it wasn't all my plants dying, but randomly over the past six months. His exact words that I deserved to be knocked down a peg. Uh, what? 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 Okay, hold on. Okay. Uh, After the text communication, I went home from work early and I entered his office. I usually respect his space. Absolutely. I don't even go in there to grab dirty dishes. I don't know what I was looking for, but the hundreds of comments saying he was working up to something worse or already was doing something else really worried me. I went in there and I found a drawer full of my daughter's dolls and dollhouse furniture and little toys. No, I bought her that dollhouse for her fourth birthday last year and she has loved it. She takes such good care of her toys, but something always end up missing and it's always my husband who notices. He lectures her about keeping track of her things and how he won't let her play with her dollhouse if she keeps losing things. He keeps going till she starts to sob. When I hear this going, I always step in and ask him to go take a break. I assumed he was losing his cool. I've told him it is not how to deal with this with a kid, and he says he just wants her to grow up responsible. I now see that it was some weird scheme or a setup or something. He would steal the stuff and stash it away and point out and point out that it was gone to berate our daughter till she cried. You've got to be f- shitting me, mate. I I don't even know what the say here except for this dude doesn't deserve to have a family
if he's only going to manipulate and 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 gaslight and uh, this poor kid also if he's willing to do this and he's willing to bleach your plants i'm sorry but this is heading in a very like even more up gypsy rose kind of direction my sister and her husband and her husband's dad came over this afternoon and they've changed the locks i've texted to tell him he isn't coming back that he could come on saturday morning to grab his essential things but that my brother-in-law and another man would be there to watch sorry if this is unclear or things seem missing this reddit post isn't super my priority i will probably not be updating again thank you to everyone who's worried about my safety well yeah We're all worried about your safety. We're all worried about your daughter's safety. This guy is actively poisoning things that you care about because he said that you needed to be knocked down a peg, which is the perfect summation of the same shit that he's doing to your daughter. He's stealing shit, (laughs) blaming her for losing it so he can yell at her because he feels like she needs to be knocked down a peg too. So his need for superiority here isn't a driver for him to actually achieve things. His need for superiority here is a driver for him to actively belittle and sabotage everyone around him. Some people rise by lifting others. Some just climb on backs. He's actively pushing them down. So it seems like he's higher. Um, you don't get to do this kind of shit and expect to keep a wife and a family and sir, I'm sorry to tell you that you're about to be knocked down several pegs, several. You are an evil ask one terrible person. Um, I'm also throwing brozo at you, which is a little bit of a different kind of thing, but, but your need, <laughs> your need to knock down the people around you a peg may or may not have something to do with the fact that they're women, which doesn't matter. These are people that you are supposed to love and protect and you're sabotaging them, sabotaging them on the daily. You don't get to be a dad. You don't get to be a husband. You don't get to be part of a decent human beings club and do something like this. Not okay. Not okay at all. You don't get to treat people around you like this and expect them to hang around once they figure it out. Somebody needs help. This guy needs help, but he also needs to be on his own until he is 100% better and not attempt at having a relationship with anybody. I'm talking even a close friend until he has this shit under control, because if he is willing to poison things, it doesn't matter that they're plants. He's using he's he's actually using chemical warfare in your home here. How up is that? And psychological warfare, too, on your child who is how old for four we ride at dawn you're actively taking things from your four-year-old daughter so that you can blame her for losing them so that you have an excuse to yell at her so she grows up responsible how the is that going to teach anybody responsibility you know what that's going to teach her trust no one ever you know what else that's going to teach her expect to get yelled at no matter what you do No matter how hard you try, expect this person to always yell at you. Mm. You don't get to have a happy life. You don't get to have a family. You don't get to have a wife. You don't get to have a daughter and treat them like this and expect them to stick around. Enjoy your life of solitude. Piece of shit.